Hello, everyone. Today, I wanted to show you a workflow I made using N8N and a software called Post-it. This workflow writes and generates different types of social media posts and posts them on different platforms, all automatically. And the best thing about this workflow is it's completely free. And that's the reason why I wanted to show it to you, because the other alternatives that I found online, for instance, using Blotato, they're all going to cost you something. This is a workflow that works on the mentioned software post-its, and you can host it yourself. Now let's have a look at it. First, I'm going to execute the workflow so we can see it running while I'll try to explain what's happening. So let's go into here. Um, at the beginning, we define the settings, and which means we define a topic. In my case, this is WebGL, and rather this post is going to be a video post, or an image post. Then we're gonna hit a AI research using perplexity that generates 10 news items on that specific topic. The output of that research is going to into another AI assistant that is generating the actual post text itself. So it will generate a headline, it will generate the message that we want to put in there, but it's also going to generate a shorter message because you have some social media platforms that don't allow that long text. For instance, Blue Sky, they only allow 300 characters max. Next in line, we have this if note that decides if we want to create an image or if we want to create a video. For both of those workflows, we first need a proper prompt to feed into that Gemini node to create the image or the video. So let's have a look at the agent itself. It gets the text that was generated earlier for our post, and then it outputs a professional image prompt that we feed into Gemini. Um, if you're in here, you also have this view button so you can look at the results right away. In the next step, we have this merge node, which takes the data either from the video or the image, which is pretty handy because we need that in the other posts and the other nodes that come further along the line. And this way, using the merge node, we don't need to build two separate paths. So once we have the video or the image, we upload that to post-its. Then we use another node to get all the channels listed. So these are all our social media channels. And as you can see, you can even have multiple accounts on the same social media platform. Um, for instance, I have two different Instagram accounts, LinkedIn, Reddit, YouTube. I guess there is up to 40 different platforms. In the next aggregate node, I put all of those channels together so we have access to the ID because we're going to need that ID in the last post. Um, you can see it in here because we need the channel ID. So Post-its knows where to post the actual post. So on which platform do we want to write the text and send the image? Well, also, you can see there are different types for this node. So you can draft a post, you can schedule one, or you can post right away. I chose draft because then I can have a look at the post-its dashboard, have a look at the post itself, review it, and if I'm fine with it, I can post it now. And let me do that right away so I can show you the post is showing up on Blue Sky, for instance. So there we have it. How do we get post-its up and running? So first, let's open up Google and type in, ah, oh, there it is, Post-its Railway. No, this one. Um, we have a deploy button, so this is pretty easy. It will, once you have an account on Railway, it will start installing the Docker container with all the necessary nodes. So Post-its platform itself, Redis and Postgres. And you can see in Post-its, we need different variables. Um, again, I recommend you look at the documentation, the official Post-its documentation. They write how to add all those different social media platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and so on. 
And basically you need to install an app on each platform and use a client ID and a client password. So Post-its can access that app to post on that social media platform. Yeah, but that's it so far. Um, I hope you found this useful and see you in a bit.